As you may know, your elected officials have required us to verify your age before granting you access to our website. While safety and compliance are at the forefront of our mission, giving your ID card every time you want to visit an adult platform is not the most effective solution for protecting our users. And in fact, will put children and your privacy at risk. In addition, mandating age verification without proper enforcement gives platforms the opportunity to choose whether or not to comply. As we've seen in other states, this just drives traffic to sites with far fewer safety measures in place. If you live in Utah and you want to get a little frisky, potentially with a partner, maybe with yourself while watching Pornhub, You'll be greeted by adult actress Sherry DeVille saying exactly what you just saw in that video. Because there is this ongoing spat between Pornhub and state lawmakers in Utah who want to implement age verification laws. Now, Pornhub has blocked everyone in the state of Utah from accessing its content due to the state legislature passing these new age verification laws. I want to give you a few more details on that, and then I want to hear your thoughts, Cenk. So, Utah Governor Spencer Spencer Cox signed SB 287. It's the online pornography viewing age requirements, and that signed into law, it went into effect on May 2nd. And here's what the text states. A commercial entity that knowingly and intentionally publishes or distributes material harmful to minors on the internet from a website that contains a substantial portion of such material shall be held liable if the entity fails to perform reasonable age verification methods to verify the age of an individual attempting to access the material. Now, companies that don't comply will be held liable and they could be sued if a minor managed to access their content. The law also requires social media companies to verify all Utah users ages starting March 1st of 2024. And also block accounts of users who don't supply age verification. So it's interesting how Pornhub is responding to this. I don't know how I feel about it because I do think that there should be some mechanism of verifying the age of people who are trying to access that content. Yeah, so no, this is a near impossible situation. So yeah. look, what I was gonna start with is, look, I get the concept behind age verification because do you really want tiny little kids watching porn? No, you don't. Most. I mean, I hope almost all parents don't, depending on the age, obviously, but certainly under 13, etc. And for a lot of parents, it's 18, but that's parenting. That's up to you guys how you want to do that, right? So the devil's in the details here, though. Number one, when you say to a porn site, you have to put in your ID first. It's easy to say, oh, if you're under 18 or over 18, click here. Well, everybody clicks there. Who cares, right? That doesn't really prove anything. But if you have to put in any kind of identifying information, nobody's going to go to that site. Who's no, here? I disagree. Okay, yeah, I might be wrong. Maybe oh, some maybe with porn, maybe maybe that of is course. the case. You're right. I didn't think about that. Yeah, and because I don't see the stigma in in people watching porn, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, look, imagine you're a regular dude, okay, and and now the com- that company has exactly who you are and all the different porn that you watched, how long you watched it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, that'd be bad, I guess. Nobody yeah. wants that, Nobody right? Nobody wants that, no. And so they're not going to do it if they're kids or if they're adults. So this going to totally tank their business. So it's basically saying you can't have this company. But what's okay? really interesting is that Pornhub is already complying with other age verification requirements in other states like Louisiana. But it depends on how you structure it, right? right. If you structure it as click here, yeah, okay, we can live with that. If you say, okay, get me a, I'm making up examples here now. Get me a photocopy of your driver's license and upload it to the site. Ain't nobody gonna do that, okay? Mm-hmm. So it, it depends on how you structure it, which is actually gonna get to the main point. Okay, let me get to that caveat right. though of, of the Louisiana law. Yeah. Okay, this is what we know. Let's go to graphic four here. Louisiana has a state created digital wallet that Pornhub uses to check users' digital driver's licenses. Utah has no such verification tool, and maybe that's the issue here, right? Like if they create a similar mechanism like this digital wallet, it could work, and Pornhub is already complying with that law in Louisiana. I'll tell you why it works. Because in Louisiana, they don't know that Pornhub's getting their ID. 
because they have some rando digital wallet somewhere and Pornhub is accessing it through the systems that they've set up. But Bob, when he's going to Pornhub, when he clicks, oh yeah, sure, I accept, doesn't know that they're going to find out all of his personal information. Oh, disaster. Okay, that's my guess as to why it works in Louisiana and doesn't in Utah. Okay, then but I'm in Utah, when you say, Bob, give me your driver's license, he's like, oh, no way, no way. Yeah, you know what? I'm. I changed my mind, I'm against the age verification. Yeah, now I'm gonna give you one more reason why you should be against it. Even though we I, we all get it, we don't want, especially under 13 year olds watching porn. I right? also don't want state surveillance of our online activities that are completely harmless and none of their business. 100% and by the way, you don't know who in the home is watching what. All of this is disgusting, okay? Uh, oh, okay, was it Bob or was it Bob's son or Bob's daughter or Bob's wife or Bob's friend who was over? Oh my God, all of this is such an unbelievable invasion of our privacy, okay? So now, but the last point pretty much knocks it out. Like, this, because guys, what happens is if you get the so called legitimate sites uh, to do all these things that are gonna basically shut down their business in that state, well, it's not like people aren't gonna go to get porn online, they're gonna. And you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna go to companies that are based in Bermuda, Bahamas, Cayman Islands, okay? It ha I know it, I lived it when, with internet gambling. In internet gambling, America said, oh, well, Sheldon Adelson has bribed all of us, so you will have no internet gambling. Okay, so what happened? They set it up in the Caribbean, right? And then what do we do? We, uh, we went to it because uh, people like me were gambling addicts, right? And we're like, ah, I gotta bet on that game. But this is now I'm talking about a long time ago when I was in Miami, 20 years ago. And I could see that they uh, that their games were rigged. You, you play blackjack on there and I don't wanna get into a long conversation about it. Bottom line is I thought for sure it was rigged. Why? Because they're based in rando country that has no regulations. So of course they could rig the game, what difference does it make? So reasonable regulations protects consumers. These regulations that don't make sense actually leads to the consumer being less protected, not more protected. Yeah, that's right. And and that is definitely a concern that was outlined in the reporting here. I just I think that we need to accept that the internet has I don't know, destroyed your control and power. Yeah. In a lot of ways, right? That's that's exactly right. And for parents, it's so challenging. So I'm it not is. here to judge any parent at all. But we have to do parenting. We don't have a choice because you're not. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. You can't put all of the sites all across the world uh, on the internet back into a bottle and no, there's no more porn and you got to drive to the Ramada Inn to try to get it from a vending machine. Okay, that's pretty specific, <laughs> but you get my point. Yes, they had them in vending machines. Okay, but but guys, that, this is why also all the other Republican laws banning drag queens from reading books in front of kids and and it, attacking trans people, LGBTQ people, just don't say their names in school, etc. None of that makes any sense because if you cared about the children and their purity, what are you talking about? The internet has donkey sex, right? Ugh. The internet has every kind of sex you can imagine. You don't need any drag queens or anything. By the way, if you wanted that, that's also on the internet, right? And any kid can access it at any time. In America, we have nonstop nonsensical debates. Debates that don't make any sense and no one's even trying to make sense. Why? Because we gotta do identity politics and we gotta hate each other so that the people in power can continue to rob us. And this is just another example of it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, so really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.